if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and this is my channel name dr javed ikbal kokhar lectures on free hello assalam alaikum bismillahir rahmanir rahim continuing with the lectures on the topic of autopsy this is lecture number 23 and in these lecture previous few lectures i was discussing exhumation and this is the last lecture on exhumation and in this lecture i will be discussing the collection and recoveries which are made during exhumation that is the samples which are collected for further investigation or examination if they are required so our learning objective in this lecture will be towards the collection and recoveries in exhumation previously the collection and recoveries which were made and in some other part of the world they are number one the pieces of shroud or coffin they are taken during the examination for toxicological analysis and number two about 500 grams of the earth which is collected from above below and sides of the body in one control specimen of the earth from the vicinity of the grave is also taken and these specimens are for toxicological analysis the organs and the viscera are collected if they are recognizable stomach intestine liver and spleen and they are collected in separate bottles if the viscera are not recognizable and only shapeless mass are present then these are collected from respective places and if even these shapeless masses are not available then the homogeneous mixture of the cavities is collected and they are labeled as they are collected that the material from the chest material from the abdomen the specimen of hair nails and bones is also collected but no the punjab forensic science agency has been established in punjab province of pakistan and now they have issued a guideline for the routine sampling on the fresh body in poisoning cases and also for the exhumation and this is the notification issued by punjab forensic science agency in present guideline by pfsa in punjab is in in cases of autopsy on fresh bodies in the routine suspected poisoning cases no need to dispatch small intestine large intestine kidney or spleen the required sample for routine poisoning cases are blood urine stomach without opening liver if blood is not available or if the case is of opium or heroin suspicion of poisoning in chronic poisoning cases the nail and hair only no need to send bone and similarly for the guideline in exhumation the pulpitous mass in the thoracic abdominal cavities if any that should be sent soft muscle nail and hair no need to send piece of coffin mud or near or from the grave so summary of this lecture is that we have learned 
about the collection and recoveries which are made during exhumation. Previously, what was the scheme? And now presently, PFSA has issued a new guideline. So that's all for the exhumation. If you like this video lectures, please share with other, subscribe my channel and like it. Thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz.